All right, so for this week's newsletter, I want to talk about when to use a foam roller and when to use a lacrosse ball per, per muscle group. So we're going to work uh, from the bottom and work our way all the way up the top. Um, so say something like the calf, the lower leg, uh, below the knee. More likely not, if you've gone on a run for the first time, you went on a really long run, your calves or soleus may be sore. So just the lower portion from knee to your foot may be sore. It's a perfect time to use a foam roller. Uh, because it's just a general area, so just the calves, you can throw one foot across there and then work the inside and work it all the way on the outside as well. Unless it was a specific point, like this, I have a knot in the calf, like something specific, specific, you want to use the uh, lacrosse ball. And then working your way up from there, uh, above the knee. So let's go from hip to knee. Um, say you had a heavy day of squats. You did a lot of squats, your glutes may be sore. That's a time to use a uh, foam roller, hamstring goes well, foam roller and quads foam roller. But if you have one specific, like a knot in one part of your quad or somewhere in your hamstrings, you can pinpoint it in your glutes. So say it's like it's your pure form or something like that. So you can find some sort of pinpoint, perfect example when to use a ball. And that's not necessarily interchangeable. So say if we're talking about that knot, a foam roller won't get to it and that's when you want to use a ball. So working our way up from there, um, I'll say if you've done a lot of deadlifts or a lot of kettlebells and your low back sore, say if you just something at home major low back sore. Um, instead of using a foam roller, even though it's a uh, greater surface area, you do want to use a lacrosse ball with that and you want to basically split the uh, spine. So on one side, the erector, it'd be on the other side from there. So just putting it right there because you don't want to roll across your low back. That's supposed to be stable. You don't want to be rolling that across a foam roller. So you actually go directly towards where those muscles lie, that cross section of the muscle lies, put there, and then laying back there, that's where you want to use a uh, lacrosse ball only. Um, working your way up, so thoracic, so basically at the bottom of your rib cage to your shoulders, and if it was just in your back, if you had general soreness, say you've done like a lot of pull-ups or a lot of rolls or whatnot like that, perfectly fine using a lacrosse, um, I'm sorry, using a foam roller, and you can kind of uh, work across there because it's thoracic spine, you're allowed to move that. But if I wanted to specify like somewhere your rhomboid or right where your uh, scapula is or something like that. You feel like you have a knot there, cross ball comes back in handy. And then if we go on the anterior side, like shoulders or chest or something like that, some sort of tightness, because it's small specifically, definitely want to use a cross ball. So and to wrap it up, largely um, the foam rolling wants to be general areas in which you're not experiencing just a knot. You can have just general muscle soreness foam roller, something specific that you can pinpoint it, you can point like, oh, it's specifically this point, use the crossbow.